Really quick before this video starts, if you're looking for some Elden Ring runes or some kind of items from the game or whatever that you don't want to obtain yourself, these guys here will obtain them for you. Shout out to AOEAH.com. Their link will be in the description and use code TBE for 3% off at your checkout. Hey guys, the Better Editor. I'm coming at you guys with an Elden Ring video. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can back up your save file or have multiple save files on the same character at different parts of the game. You can use this to duplicate items or whatever. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the PC method. I'm not entirely sure if it's possible on console. I'm sure it is in some way, shape, or form. We're like on the PlayStation, you can like upload your save data to the cloud or whatever if you have PS Plus, and then with the Xbox, I think you can do something, maybe put your save data on a USB. You'll be able to do this. You can look up if this was done on any other FromSoft game, and you can just do those same steps unless someone already has an Elden Ring tutorial. But this, I'm going to be showing you how to do it on PC. Now, like I said, there's a number of different things you can do with it. On this current save, this is New Game Plus One, and I just beat Margit. Okay, that's all I've done on this save. You can see the only graces that I have are literally the starting graces I just ran over to Margit. Let's say you're like right at the end of the game, right? Let's say you're about to beat the game, but you want to get all three of the achievements for beating the game, and you don't want to go all the way through, okay? I'm going to show you that. What you would do is you would close out of your game. So you would just either Alt F4 or... <clears throat> just close out the normal way. Either way, you try to close out of it. The game doesn't like to close. You usually have to task manager this game for some reason. Okay, but once you have the game closed, let's say you're just about to beat the game and you want to keep that save, I'm going to show you what you can do. You can do this as many times as you want to. You can have so many different saves of different parts of the game, whatever. You're going to go to your search bar and you're going to type in percent symbol app data percent symbol. Go into this folder and you're going to look for Elden Ring. Quickest way to do that is click here and then type E and then Elden Ring should be in the neighborhood there. Then you'll see this folder, 7, 6, well, it's just going to be a mess of numbers. Okay, double click on that, and then you're going to see your saves. This one at the main top, this ER0000.sl2, is your actual save. This is the only one that's important in this video. So let's say you wanted to make a duplication or a duplicate of this save. What you would do is you would create a new folder of some sort, endings or something right name it different ending whatever you want to name it right you'd open this folder you want to copy this one okay paste it in here and if you want to differentiate what this is you can rename it so like let's say you wanted another save let's say you went into the game just now and you did something else but if you wanted two separate saves in the same folder you'd obviously have to rename it so you would rename it before you copied it. So like put a one in front of it and then copy it. And so you can paste it in the same folder without it uh, overwriting anything and then come back in here and then rename it. Make sure it's always gotta be ER with four zeros, nothing else. But you can have it renamed if you want, you know, different things. Well, we don't want anything to do with that. I have a save right here, completed save, where I've done pretty much everything in the game on this save right here. Well, just in case I ever want to go back to this save, I'm going to have to copy this one, paste it in here. Okay, now you have that save, but let's say I wanted to go back to my other save where I've completed everything. You just drag that back in there, replace, make sure you already have it backed up though, and then just close out of everything, go back into the game, and click play and I'll show you what will happen. So now we're loading back in, and as you can see, we're standing in a completely different area, and if I open the map, just about every Lost Grace is there. So there you go. There's how you can swap out your saves, and how you can make it to where, like like I said, if you did a, if you did this right before the end of the game, you could do that so you could get the multiple endings or something. You can go finish up Rainy's quest line. You can use this to duplicate stuff. So like, let's say I summoned you into my game right now. I could drop you everything I have in my inventory. I would have to have a backup of this current save, which I already do. I could drop you literally everything in my inventory. Like right now I have a Lord's Rune. I could drop you one of those. Then I could go back, copy this save on top of this one again. And then I have the Lord's Rune again. And then I could give you one more of them. Then you have two then you could give me two, 
and then I create a save where I have two, and then I'm giving you two at a time or whatever, and then you give me back six. And then I'm now I'm giving you six at a time, and then keep you just keep going and going and going until you're giving each other back a whole bunch of them. The max you can carry is 99. I know that sounds confusing, but if if you saw it, it wouldn't be as confusing. I might make a video on that. I don't know, but that's how you can back up your save, have multiple saves and stuff like that. Just remember, remember. Uh, do this at your own risk. I'm not responsible if you lose any data or anything. You can have as many saves as you want to on the same exact character. I can prove to you it is the same character. How do I do that again? Oh yeah, system and then over here. We have different hours, but it's still the same character. Better to one different level. Stuff like that. And we just died. Oh, no we didn't die at first. I was good, but then I fell all the way off. But yeah, if you uh, don't want to mess around with the New Game Pluses or whatever the case may be, look at where they put my runes at. They put them way up there on top of that tree. Uh, you could just duplicate your saves and stuff and then get your uh, endings that way if you wanted to. And that would be that would be all there was to it. That's all you'd have to do. If you guys did like this video, then drop it a like. If you dislike this video, then drop it a dislike. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and hit the sub button. You will see more. I learned all that stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. LBB, you done did them dirty, fool.